What's up guys, Alex is here at GuitarForce.com As you can see today we're going to take a look at Machine Head's uh, Davidian song Now, uh, before we start the lesson we have to talk a little bit about uh, tuning and what they call a drop B tuning but it's not exactly drop B and I'm, I'm going to explain it in a little while uh, So, the trick here is uh, as follows we're gonna have to drop down all the strings a minor third down, right? All the strings. So technically, we're gonna be in C sharp, um, and then we drop the low E string another step. So it's gonna be in B. But uh, here is the trick that uh, Machine Head uh, did with their tuning. They actually, after that, they uh, tune up all the strings uh, about 40 cents up. All right. I I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but that's how actually Rob Flynn explained his drop B tuning. So in, uh, remember, we drop all the strings down a minor third, and then we drop the low E another step, right? And then we tune up uh, 40 cents up. Uh, it's uh, exactly the same as um, well, not exactly the same, but they did the same trick as Pantera did. You know, Pantera where tuning somewhere in between uh, the E standard and E flat, uh, you know, something like 50, 40 cents down. So it's kind of in between the uh, standard tunings. Same thing applies to machine head. Okay, so before we start the lesson, um, I'd like to mention a couple of things. First of all, the tabs and the backing track are going to be available at guitarforce.com. Also, don't forget to visit uh, the store section of the site if you'd like to um, support me. You know, I would, I would appreciate that. I have some products. For right now, it's only one, but in the near future, I'm going to be uploading uh, more and also more related stuff to metal, rock, and other stuff. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, and also please check it out. Um, also, I'm available for Skype lessons if anybody's interested. You know, just uh, get uh, in contact with me, and we'll arrange something. Okay, so um, basically that's that. Uh, also, I'm gonna make um, the solo lesson separately from this video. So uh, I'm gonna post probably a link somewhere here on the screen. Also, check out the cover if you would like for song structure and uh, everything else. Alright guys, so um, without further ado, let's go for the close-up. Take a listen to the intro part first, then we'll come back, break it down and start the lesson. Let's check it out. Okay, so now we're going to break down the intro part into two sections. The sections are very alike to each other, they have the same riffs, but they're different structure-wise. So the first section of the intro goes like this. We have three riffs, and I call them riff A, B and C. And riff A goes like this. Okay, so here we start off with the power chord, and we're going to be playing low strings open. And uh, when we play the power chords, you can play the 6th, 5th and the 4th string, or you can play 6th and the 5th, you know, it doesn't really matter. And uh, we start off with open, low strings, open uh, power chord. Then we have two harmonics, which are located at the 5th fret, and we play on the D string, and then A string. So, And then we go for the power chord at the 1st fret. Right, so again, so this is riff A, riff B goes like this. Alright, so here we have low strings again, power chord open, 
and we play twice, palm muted. Again, playing same harmonics. And now we, we go play the uh, power chord uh, from the first fret. We go one, three, four. And uh, we are back to riff A. So they alternate A, B, A, C. Now riff C would be similar to a riff B uh, with a slight variation. Instead of going one, three, four, it goes one, four, three. All right, so it would be, sorry. Okay, so now when we put together all of the riffs, it goes like this. Okay, so this is a basic structure. Uh, also keep in mind when playing riff A, from the first fret we can slide upwards, like so. Okay, so this is the first section. Uh, the only difference here at the very end when they play, um, so structure wise it goes riff A, B, A, C, A, B, A, then we play riff B, and uh, instead of, after riff B, instead of going for the open strings to riff A, we go right into the first fret. Right, so let me demonstrate that. So we got... Okay, so after riff B, instead of going to the open strings, so we got... Like this, instead of going to the open strings, we go right into the first fret. Like so. So once more, one more time. Okay. So the second section of the intro is exactly the same. The riffs are exactly the same. Structure-wise, it goes like this. It's a little bit longer and it goes riff A, B, A, C, and we play it for three times. This little structure we play, we play it for three times, all right? So let me just play one of the, uh, the cycle, as to say. So it goes. Okay, so this part we play it for three times. Then we play riff A. Then we play the riff B. Okay, so this was the end of the second section. And as you can see, we play exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing as we did previously, but now we play it twice. So we go for the first uh, fret, the power chord, we play it twice. Alright, so basically that's it for the intro and the best way is just to listen a couple of times and uh, you will get the structure wise, alright? Okay. okay, so this was the intro guitar number one. Now there is a second guitar which is playing a little bit differently in the beginning and all it does is just playing the low open strings power chord in this fashion. Alright, so here we got, like I said, open strings, power chord. First time we played uh, the whole note, so meaning for the whole bar. And then we got palm muted, again open strings twice, alright? And then it comes on with the harmonics and they play the second part of the intro, alright? So it would be...
like that. And then they play the second part of the intro exactly the same. Alright, so now we go into the next section and it sounds like this. Okay, so in this section of the song we got uh, kind of two sections, but uh, they again exactly the same, identical to each other, uh, with uh, the only difference um, is that um, one is kind of pre-verse and the second part is the verse itself, but they share exactly the same riff uh, with the exception of a few stops here and there. So uh, first off, two guitars are just playing the low open strings open while the drum is playing the groove right and then the rhythm guitar goes and plays the, this riff alright so here we got twice low uh, strings open then we have first fret back to open and then we hit again the low strings so we got four uh, four strokes here we got like that right and after that we play 16th notes on the low E string so so we got 16th notes then we play 6th fret the power chord open and then we go 3-4 Right, and that's the riff, and repeats itself again. Now the second guitar is playing a phrase like this. All right, so here we got just uh, octaves. Uh, starting on the third fret of the A string and uh, one octave above which is on the G string fifth fret and we slide into the uh, fifth fret on the A and seventh fret of the G respectively right while the rhythm guitar is playing the riff and also after that first guitar or the solo guitar is playing and brings up the volume. So here we got on the G string 10th fret and also brings up the volume. Uh, there is uh, one stop which which you should look out for and it goes like this. Right, so they stop here kind of half way through the riff on the 6th fret. And, they, and then they start playing both guitars and they, they go into the verse. And the verse is, like I said, is exactly the same riff. With the slight variation when Rob Flynn is singing, he's got four, I'm sorry, eight vocal lines. So in between the, after the four, basically after the four vocal lines, instead of playing Uh, there's a slight rhythm variation. Instead of playing eighth notes, they just continue playing sixteenth notes. So it would be that's just a small detail. But um, you know, if you're into details, that's what that's what they play. It's exactly the same, but instead of like I said, instead of playing. Like that we play 16th notes. Also at the end of the verse they go into the stop right before the next section and it goes like this.
Okay, so here we go right into the sixth fret. We go three, four, and then we go into the sixth fret. And then there is uh, the vocal uh, lead freedom ring with the shotgun blast, and we go into the next section, and it sounds like this. Okay, so in this section we play power chords. We start off with open strings, then we go to the third fret, open, then we go six five, open, and then we go three four. After that we have three times on the G string, fourth fret. This is a B note. You can play also the just open B string. I prefer to play it here, well, fretting the fourth fret. And then we have open, first fret, open. Alright, so slowly the whole section. So basically we repeat the first part of the riff and then we go which is 1st fret, 3rd, 4th, played in 16th notes. Right, so if we tied two parts together... Okay, so this riff we played twice, when we play also um, uh, the uh, B note, B note on the G string for fret. Then third time we play just muted strings, right? So it would be like this. Okay. So instead of playing three times on the on the B note, we play dead strings. And also they stop a third time, fourth time. On the, on the third fret instead of going right so one more time all, all the parts together slowly Also, I forgot to mention when we play the dead strings, that riff we play palm muted as well. Okay. Okay, so after that we go back to the pre verse section, which is the same as the verse. Uh, we play the verse again, we play um, the part after the verse, exactly the same. Uh, nothing changes. The only difference here when we go right before the solo They don't stop at the third fret, but they play This part which is a, a, exactly the same one four three, but a little bit differently um, Rhythmically So they play it Like that in, in thirds in triplets, so we got three times on the first fret, then we play the fourth, hold on to it for a while, then we go three, and then back to the first fret, like that. Now the rhythm guitar for the solo is exactly the same as the verse, uh, but instead of playing, instead of playing, instead of playing the sixteenth, they play you know just straight eight notes
Okay, so after the main solo, the rhythm guitar is playing another section and it goes like this. Alright, so in this section the picking hand is playing constantly 16th notes very fast. Uh, now the notes of the uh, left hand or the fretting hand goes like this. We have open low E, then we have 6th fret, 3rd fret, then we have on A 5th fret, back to the E string 6th fret, then 6th fret of the A string, so, then we got 3rd fret of the A, and then we have 6 on the D, back to 3, to 5, to 4. So if I were to play just the notes without picking them fast, it would go like this, slowly. And that's what I suggest you do at first, so you can remember the melody itself, how it goes, right? Just play uh, straight uh, notes on the on the with the fretting hand. Then try to put them up to speed, but without picking fast just yet. So you can get it inside your head and now when you feel comfortable with the melody, when you know how it goes rhythmically wise, you can add uh, the uh, fast picking motion with the picking hand adding to the, to the whole melody. Alright, so this part is a little bit a little a little bit challenging for the picking hand, but if you don't have problems with the picking, that's just fine. Alright, so after that we go into the break and it sounds like this. Okay, so this is probably one of the best breaks in the history of metal, for me at least anyway. And uh, it goes like this, we're going to be playing everything on the low E string. And rhythmically wise, it's a gallop thing, alternated with uh, just straight 8 notes. So it goes like this, we start off with the first fret, first gallop, gallop thing goes like this, one first fret, open and then it's followed by two eight notes, right? So, the second gallop thing is playing on the low E open, all right? So it alternates again, first fret, gallop thing, two times um, the uh, straight eight notes, then another gallop, which is with uh, just open low E. Okay, so the second part goes like this, and probably I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, uh, but um, be, and it's uh, because everybody's playing three, four, one, three. At least I saw very, uh, a lot of tabs that are tabbing out like that, but to my ears it sounds like three, four, one, two. All right. So I'm giving you an uh, 
two alternatives, whichever you feel uh, that are right, uh, you can play that. But to me, like I said, it goes three, four, one, two, one. All right. Okay, so this is the first variation and the second variation. They play a little bit longer, so they play three, four, one, two, one, and then they go into the gallop figure again. So it would be like this. Okay, so basically that's the whole break, just uh, like I said, keep in mind they have two alternations uh, with the second part of the riff. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson, don't forget to like the video if you did like it, uh, also comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel, share, and uh, don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more uh, guitar related stuff, and uh, in the meantime I'll see you again, take it easy, and as always, let the force be with you. Thank you.